Hello again. So today the concept is uh, end target. So the whole thing is uh, normally as a player we are given targets on the court, on the surface of the court. Now if we think about it, as a player if my opponent hits the ball towards me I am more concerned about how and where I'm gonna have to make contact with that ball. I'm not that concerned about exactly where it landed, apart from it being in or out. So we, we need to start thinking in terms of the end target, where my opponent is gonna have to make contact, where and how. And, and if we think about it, it's obvious, a ball can land in the same place on the court but act very, very differently and end up at a different end target, a different point of contact for my opponent. Uh, as, as a player, I suggest that you just start thinking of it in these terms when, when you uh, practice surf and ask yourself after each surf, where would my opponent have had to make contact with this ball? Because unless you are super accurate and hit a big, big surf, exactly where the ball lands is not that relevant. If you can kick a ball to the backhand side, that's a certain end target, right? If you can slice a ball, big time slice, into the body, it's not going to matter that much if the ball bounced here or here. It's still going to act the same, it's going to push me the same way and the end target is going to be a tough one, right? Okay, I'm not going to go into uh, depth much more about this. Just start looking at end targets. Where does my ball end up for them, for my opponent to make contact with it? All right. I hope it, I hope this can uh, start uh, igniting some ideas and uh, and hopefully take uh, your game and your coaching to a different level. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.